everyone, how are you today? It's me, Jenny Nurse from your Health Matter channel. In my video today, I will talk about diabetes mellitus. As I am in the medical field, I do believe that diabetes is one of the growing problem in every country. With our population at an all time high in weight gain and low in health care, the problem is only growing. In my video today, I will explain what is diabetes and everything you need to know about your diabetes, what are the signs and symptoms of diabetes, and how to deal with diabetes. And I will answer the common question which is, is there any way to cure diabetes naturally? So let's get started. What is diabetes? Diabetes is a disease of metabolism. Our metabolism is what the way our bodies use digested food for energy and growth. Most food that is processed through our bodies broken down by digestive juices into a sugar called glucose. Glucose is the fuel our bodies run on. When we eat and our food is processed, the pancreas is supposed to produce the right amount of glucose from our blood automatically and release the right amount of insulin into our body. In people with diabetes, little to no insulin is produced or the body cells don't respond correctly to the insulin that is produced. Therefore, the glucose builds up and overflows into the urine and passes out of the body. This is how the body loses its main source of fuel, even though the bloodstream remain contains good amount of the natural glucose. There are three types of diabetes, type 1, type 2, and gestational diabetes. Gestational diabetes is when you are pregnant and then you got your diabetes. People who have type 1 are known as insulin dependent. This is an autoimmune disease where the body natural system is fighting against another part of the body. In the case of type 1 diabetes, the system attacks to the insulin producing cells and destroy them. Therefore, the pancreas can produce little to no insulin. These people are in need of daily injections of insulin to live. Secondly, I will talk about diabetes symptoms and signs. All too often we get sick but ignore the symptoms we may be feeling, shrugging them out to a cold, stress from work or not just feeling well. There are certain symptoms that shouldn't be ignored if they develop. These symptoms could lead to blindness or amputation of limbs, coma, or even death. Symptoms of type 1 diabetes often come on suddenly and severely dramatic. The extra stress of diabetes can lead to something called diabetic ketoacidosis. Symptoms of ketoacidosis may include nausea and vomiting, which may also lead to dehydration and serious problems with the blood levels of potassium. This could lead to a diabetic coma and ultimately death, so we have to be careful, okay? Other symptoms of diabetes may include extreme fatigue. We all get tired at times, but diabetes people triggers a more severe fatigue than normal. And the people with diabetes also experience unexplained weight loss. This is because they are unable to process many of the calories they consume. Losing sugar and water in the urine also contribute to weight loss. Extreme tears is another symptom of diabetes. Diabetes develop a high blood sugar level and the body tries to compensate by diluting the blood, which translates to our brain that we are thirsty. And this is excessive urination. 
It is another way of our bodies have of getting rid of the extra sugar in our system. But this can also lead to dehydration. And uh, one of the hardest symptoms to deal with is poor wound healing. Wound heals slowly, if at all, when the carrier has a diabetes. This, along with infection that are not easily remedied, can contribute, can attribute to ulcers and loss of limbs. Yes, these are the complication of diabetes: the loss of limbs, such as arms, legs, and feet, blindness, and diabetic comas. So please, people, it is very important to know all the signs and symptoms because I believe that without careful monitoring and treatment, complication from diabetes can include all this um, a lot of complication that you can see on my screen. The main cause of type 1 diabetes is the loss of insulin-producing cells in the pancreas. This ultimately leads to an insulin deficiency. Type 1 diabetes mellitus is typically found in children and young adults. It is also termed as juvenile diabetes. The common treatment for type 1 diabetes is daily insulin injection to replace the insulin the body is not producing properly along with careful blood sugar monitoring. That's it. So guys, it is extremely important that if you suspect you or your children to have a symptoms of diabetes, you have to visit your doctor to be tested. If the tests are positive, it is not the end of the world. With careful monitoring and care, type 1 diabetes can live long healthy lives. Lastly, I will talk about managing diabetes. Generally speaking, type 2 diabetes is the version of this disease that can be managed with diet and exercise. However, for those with type 1, these healthy lifestyle tips may help relieve symptoms and enhance management of the condition. Here are the some tips for managing diabetes with diet and exercise. You can see here in my screen the right carbs, fats, and protein you need to less take and uh, you need to increase, okay? So the right carbs, carbs or carbohydrate have been on the bad list lately, but not unlike fat, there are good and bad carbs, especially when it comes to diabetes, my, um, diabetes management. Generally speaking, carbs to avoid might include the following. The white sugar, white flour, white rice, fruit juices that, um, you know, in the pack, and uh, the germ cornmeal. And then the carbs to emphasize might include these foods like whole fruits, whole grain, brown rice, and whole cornmeal. For protein and carbs, combining protein and carbs at meals and snack can help prevent blood sugar spikes. Example include the whole grain bread with unsweetened nut butter, whole grain crackers with low fat cheese, lean turkey breast in a whole wet pita, and brown rice and beans. Party mix made from the whole grain cereal, peanuts, etc. And um, apple slices with peanut butter is also good. Brown rice and broiled salmon. Mmm, I love salmon. And uh, whole wet macaroni and cheese made with a low fat cheese and skim milk. For about fats, while keeping your weight at a healthy level, it is important for managing your diabetes. Eating the right kind of fat has its place. In moderation, these healthy fats can help lower cholesterol and provide other health benefits. Healthy fats can be found in the fish, especially salmon, 
avocados, almonds, olive, safflower, and uh, can canola oil. And uh, it's a good idea to avoid saturated fats and trans fats. Saturated fats are fats like butter and shortening that are solid at room temperature. And then uh, hyd hydrogenated fats were once liquid fats, sometimes is healthy ones, you know, that were artificially solidified using hydrogen. Trans fat are found in some types of peanut butter and in margarine and in the ingredient list of countless packaged foods. Diabetes management. Is there any ways to cure diabetes? Even though it may sound too good to be true for you, I'm going to tell you something that will blow your mind. Many people believe that they cannot get rid of their diabetes and have to deal with it as long as they live and try con their controlling their diabetes using medicines. As of now, there is no cure for either type 1 or type 2 diabetes. This may seem like a dim outlook for many people, but the fact is that even though there is no cure, there is always certainly ways to manage your diabetes. Of course, treating diabetes in the traditional ways is quite expensive and requires you to take insulin shots for the rest of your life, as diabetes is a group of disorders that causes a lot of problems to your body. A diabetic patient grow process and the healing process will be much slower and the body's immunity system becomes a very weak and vulnerable to many diseases which make the life of diabetic miserable. So what's the proper management of diabetes that can, that can give you many years of healthy living? I believe that diabetes management starts with the visits of your doctor of course. First, then finding out you have diabetes, what type you have, then uh, arming yourself with as much information as possible about the diabetes so you are diagnosed with. Proper management requires a completely lifestyle change and frequent, sometimes multi-daily checks of glucose in the blood. You can see in my screen that I, you can start engaging in diet and exercise. Set your fitness goals, create exercise plans, follow a healthy meal plan, create incentives for yourself and be accountable for your action. Diet and exercise are considered cornerstone when you have diabetes. Little changes in your daily lifestyle can make a big difference. You don't have to go to the gym and um, cure diabetes. It's you, you can cure diabetes or you can uh, prevent diabetes by uh, walking, running, cycling. You can start with that one. Simple walking, running, cycling. You can do little changes in your daily lifestyle can make a bigger difference than you think. Get yourself moving. You can start. Start off slow, pick something you will really enjoy to do and make it manageable and do only what you can, okay? Um, the important thing is that to exercise at least 30 minutes a day for a minimum of 5 days a week. This helps keep your weight in check, vital for, di for the di diabetes and pre-diabetes and may even reduce stress if you do this active um, activities okay this help um, reduce your stress been implicated in the development of diabetes symptoms aerobic exercise is also helpful it gets the heart rate up and burns the calories you can see in my screen these are the examples that you can do every day to start your uh, healthy lifestyle, you can commute instead of driving. Then you can take the stairs whenever you can. Stroll around the mall or park with your friends, with your family. 
get up from your chair and stretch when you're walking at home and uh, you can walk your pet on the park in the beach that's a very good exercise and uh, you will enjoy the nature also of course if you or your family have a diabetes incorporating fitness into your everyday life is very important and even if you don't have diabetes it's very important to exercise and watch out your diet so people all around the world that is for it is estimated that by year 2025 the number of diabetics worldwide will rise to 380 million and diabetes is now affecting more of the young people and middle aged population in developing countries between the age of 40 and 59 so it's very important to do this all of this what what in my screen please prevention is the best cure okay so so that's it for now thanks for watching people i hope you learned something in my video today all about diabetes see you next time on my next video and please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to my channel hit the bell button for more videos to come thank you and have a healthy life always remember that health is wealth this is me jenny thank you bye bye have a nice day